and welcome to episode 13 of Pearl and Jane weekly design vlog. What have I been up to this week? Well, um, this I have nearly finished. So it's been a crazy busy week in the Skipton studio. So I've been interrupted and many a time doing this pattern. But like I say, if you've watched my other videos, that's fine. Um, so I've managed to do the grading on the different sizes. I've done the sleeves. It's just working out the front now because I want all the sizes to finish with this in the middle. So I graded it all up doing mathematics and numbers and then went, came to do the left front. Uh, well, yeah, the left front, but came to do the front, the, the left side and realised that some of the mathematics and the grading on the other sizes weren't going to have that nice um, panel in the middle. It would have finished differently. Um, and I didn't want to disappoint knitters who were doing um, the other sizes and not to have that nice panel at the middle. So for the sake of a centimetre, two centimetres, I'm sure we, we all don't mind that. Um, I had to then rewrite all the gradings um so then the maths of the pattern would fit in so that's where i'm up to with that one so yes i've written that many many times now um i finished uh just i'm whizzing through at the moment aren't I? <laughs> I finished the third size in this one so on here is the first size and then i finished this one so this is the third size this is the if you've not watched the videos the other videos oh, i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> try not to uh this is top down so what i'm wearing here is the clayton jumper this is the top a top down jumper nice simple easy top down so if you've never done top downs before or even if you have and you just want a really simple one to switch off to this is a great one to start with so that's this is the first top down jumper i designed and this is the second one, and this is in the Super Merino, Pearl and Jane Super Merino. And that's in two so solid colours. This is the Super Merino here, and this is the Space, Super Space, I think I called it. Oh my goodness, I can't remember what I called it, because it's all the way over there. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't go around and get it, because I don't edit these. I don't know how to stop and start. Um, maybe one day I will learn that. But yeah. So I thought I'd put in the variegated one, so you can have a coloured one and a variegated one. And I also finished, whizzing through again, also finished this. So I knitted this scarf, around, probably around about Christmas, and I made a pom-pom, two pom-poms. And I wanted to put it on the scarf, and just didn't get around to it. Um, but when people pop in to the studio and have a look around, you know, they, they want to browse, they don't, they don't want me want to talk to me <laughs> um i get on with other things as i manage to get on with this um so i'm there to help if you need it but I, i'm not in your face so i'm just back here doing some knitting and if you want help just shout um that's if you pop into the studio um i just can't hear if you shout now <laughs> but yes um so i put some pom-poms on the bottom of this scarf so this is just the simple i think this is a free pattern on my website i just haven't written about the pom-poms how to do the pom-poms but they're super easy you just make the scarf as is then take a thread and weave in and out i the same thread this this yarn weave in and out the end pull it bunch it together and then i sewed the pom-pom on i'll do a better explanation if anyone needs it um if ever you pop into the studio or i'll do a video of it so yes so that design is going to be available soon and then after i've written that pattern i'm going to write this pattern uh grade it up and i mean i've already written this pattern um so just do final checks on it and then this will be available so this probably won't be available to may <laughs> just as we're coming into the summer season but it's great if we have a bit of chilly weather to keep you warm um as you're knitting it but hopefully I will have some nice spring, summer cotton things available. Now I'm just looking for them. Ah, here. Yeah. So I had some great 100% cotton yarn 
come into the studio. It's new to Pearl and Jane, a new yarn to Pearl and Jane. And this is um, cotton from Greece. And um, I'll look up, I get all the correct wording, but obviously it's all environmentally friendly, etc, 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 because that's important to me. I might not know the right words, <laughs> but that's important to me. Um, sustainability, environmentally friendly, biodegradable, all those sorts of things are really, really important to me, as well as beautiful yarns to knit with. So this is a swatch that I've been doing for a cotton summer top which I'm going to start knitting now. So I've finished the top down in the Super Chunky and now I'm going to start doing some nice little summer knits because I don't know what it was like with you, but on Saturday it was glorious. I mean, it did look like it was going to rain at one point, threatened rain, but the, it didn't. And the air was so warm. It was just lovely. It felt like spring and summer were coming. It was just brilliant. So time for a cotton knit. So that's what I'm going to do this week. So we'll see how far I got. I get. See if I, see how far I get with this. Um, in the meantime, today I had had the Popperwell jumper. Um, so this was knitted in merino tweed, which I've still got, but just not in the original colour. So I thought I would try it in. Um, the Coast DK, which is a cotton and lamb's wool mix. So again, great for the spring summer that we're having. So great for seaside knit. Wouldn't this be lovely in um, like shorts on the beach? <laughs> that wouldn't be really, really nice. Um, so I've had this knitted up by a knitter and I just finished them off. I always finish off all the pieces. So everything you see in the studio, I have joined together. So I've done the necks and um, the sides and things like that all using match stitch so at the moment i'm joining the neck together i'm holding it like this because half through halfway through knitting the neck because again when people were popping in um i get on with knitting and so i'm halfway through knitting the neck up and then i shall sew it together oh but yeah a nice beach knit that would be lovely um so yeah whiz through today whiz through well i've just had quite a lot quite i've done quite a lot this week because i took myself for a breakfast meeting with myself on tuesday i used to do that all the time when you work with other people you uh, that's what you do you have to have meetings and things and i realized that that's what i need to do to get on top of everything because i'm feeling oh a little bit like everything's coming at me and trying to spin all these plates and keep on top of everything um it's just a bit tricky at the moment um so i thought give myself a meeting and then lay out exactly what I have to do and so hopefully uh, this time well I'll have another meeting with myself see how well I've done this week with keeping up with everything that I said I was gonna do because um, that's another thing when you've been spinning plates and doing everything all at once you don't realize how much you are doing um, and so you think you're doing nothing when you've been doing loads like helping people, printing off patterns, um, amending patterns, answering emails, answering phone calls. So yeah, lots of stuff, but it's my passion and I love it. So it's, um, it's great. I love, I love helping people. I love helping people find the joy of knitting. Okay, so I hope everyone well, has a nice week, had a nice week, has a nice week, and I'll uh, catch up with you next week. Bye.